Hello and welcome back to Little Grey Box. It's Phoebe here with Matt behind the camera. And on this channel, we share with you all our experiences and tips to help you travel well. And in today's episode, we're in Australia in our beautiful home state of Queensland because we are checking out Samford, Debra and Woodford. Now we're starting our adventure here up at Jolly's Lookout and in the 1920s this place was visited by the Lord Mayor William Alfred Jolly and he was so blown away by the views up here that he agreed to extend the road up here and make this a proper lookout and it's actually the oldest official lookout on the range and it's easy to see why he loved it. The views up here are nothing short of spectacular. We've got some great weather today and we have views all the way out to the very tip of the Glasshouse Mountains. We can see Sanford Valley. We can even see out to Moreton Bay and the Bay Island. Islands and it is just a beautiful starting point to show you why this area is so gorgeous. So we're going to get into the Diagula National Park. Now we have come to the Mayala de Use area and what's really interesting is the word Mayala means a quiet place which is a great way to describe this and the word comes from the language of the traditional custodians here, the Jinnabara people. We are going to be doing the rainforest circuit. It is around two kilometers and they say to leave about an hour to do it which I think is going to be pretty generous. It looks like it's going to be a really kid friendly walk, nice and flat going through some subtropical rainforest there. Lots of stuff to listen out for and look out for including some really cool catbirds and whipbird sounds they're two of my favorite things to hear when I'm out doing a bushwalk when you stop talking and you just stand still it kind of fills the space around you Driving down the road that I grew up on once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Located in Sanford Village, Little Brew and Bakehouse is the perfect place to come for lunch. Now it only took us 20 minutes to drive here and the vibe here is fantastic. Being a bakehouse, they bake so many delicious goodies on site. They've got some amazing chocolate and plain croissants inside. They do amazing sourdough baguettes, all that kind of stuff. It looks and smells amazing in there. I saw they had a Mexican bowl, saw that on Instagram, had to have it. Yum. Mm. Mm. That's really flavorsome and really, really tasty. Really good. Love the crunch. When we didn't care what they said. There's so many great little boutiques, coffee shops, and cool spots to pop into. We just went into the organic cafe because I can't help myself. I have to. Freeze-dried strawberries covered in dark chocolate is one of my favorite things about life. So I got some of those. And guys, I got some sea moss. <laughs> I read about the health benefits of sea moss and it has like a whole bunch of minerals in it so that's that looks like a very suspicious brown baggie. If you're a big Harry Potter fan you will immediately know what this is. <laughs> I really wanted to check it out. Uh, my little sister and I did the whole Harry Potter is it seven or eight movies one school holidays got really into it. I'm a Gryffindor she's a Slytherin. Matt doesn't know it he's definitely a Hufflepuff. You are you are pure blood Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you might want to check that out if you love Harry Potter or if you have kids. Over here, there is the Flying Nun Cafe. Now, we didn't eat there today, obviously, but I've heard some really good things about that. And if we spin around this way, you've also got the museum behind us. So it might be worth ducking in there and learning a little bit more about Sanford's history. Little fingers to the sky. I remember thinking if I only could stop the time. Right now, way back when we didn't care what they said. People could stare, I didn't give a damn Cause I was being next to you Welcome to Cedar Creek. Now this place is beautiful. Matt and I have been wanting to come here for many, many years. Um, I always see it pop up on Instagram and in, in Brisbane, things to do, vlogs over the years. 
Now it's really popular in summer. There are some swimming holes somewhere. I don't know where. We've gotten out here and there's no cell reception so I can't check where the exact swimming holes are but the creek itself is just beautiful and we're visiting in June so it's cold nobody's out here swimming so we've got the place to ourselves it is amazing I highly recommend coming to check it out it's really beautiful for accommodation we are spending two nights here at Daybro Cottages in Arbol their bathroom is a great size with that awesome spa tub. I am looking forward to checking that out later. And then this place is fully self-contained. So you've got that really big comfy bed, high ceilings, television, kitchenette and dining table. And then this outdoor area, this private balcony, this is what you come for. These views are absolutely spectacular. And even though there are five cottages, we can't see anybody else except the sheep and the chickens. It is so beautiful up here. We're gonna watch the sunset and have a few drinks. starting our day here in the Debra town. We had a great sleep last night. The cottage is just so comfortable. That bed is amazing. Woke up, did a workout. Now I'm ready for some breakfast. So we've come here to the Mill Creek Cafe in town. This place is really lovely. The staff are so, so sweet. They're really nice. Um, and we met a lovely local who watches our YouTube channel with her kids and her husband. And she was like, are you guys on YouTube? We were like, yes we are. So I didn't catch your name, but if that's you and you told me you were vaccinated, hello. <laughs> hello to you, hello to your kids, hello to your husband, thank you so much for watching our stuff. Now when I was looking at the menu they didn't have a vegan option, but I went downstairs and just said hey can you do something for me and they were like yeah too easy and I put something together so this looks divine. Lots of pumpkin, sourdough, beetroot, hummus on there, uh, yum, mmm, that's good. <laughs> Now it might be a small village, but it is a beautiful one. A really quaint country town. There's some really cool cafes, bookstores, great local boutiques and stuff you might like to duck in and check out. Just a really nice way to spend an hour or so. If you are a person that loves to go for a good drive, you're gonna love this. We've been going along some really great winding roads to the Diagula National Park to a spot called the Gantry, which you can see behind me. Now, in about the late 1800s, settlers had moved out here and they had started logging. And in the 1950s, they had set up this shed. There are loads of great walks that you can do around the area. If you have a four wheel drive, definitely bring it with you because there's some awesome unsealed tracks there. Instead, we're gonna go and do the Pickabeam Walk, which looks like a really nice loop through the rainforest. So let's go check that out. <laughs> If you've got a little more time, you might like to do the Somerset Trail. So that's a 13 kilometer circuit. They say it'll allow about four hours. Um, and the Somerset Lookout is meant to be fantastic. We don't have that much time or that much energy or active wear. So we're just doing the Pickabeam Walk, like I said. And it's about a one kilometer circuit. And they said to leave 30 minutes, which sounds like a generous amount of time for me. Today feels different from the walk yesterday. Uh, it feels bigger somehow. <laughs> like everything would just go straight for ages, either side of you. That was a really big tree. <laughs> you can just tell by looking at the base of it, that tree was huge. And it would have taken a really long time to grow. It would have reached high above the canopy and the day it came down, it would have been really, really sad to have something that was there for that long not be there anymore. But you know what? That big tree falling down made room for so many other things to grow. And if that isn't an amazing life metaphor, I don't know what is. Because sometimes there's something that's been in your life for a really long time and it's sad to see it go or you don't want to see it go, but where one thing leaves, it makes room for everything else. <laughs> I've never 
never been to Woodford before, so I didn't really know what to expect. And when I was researching it, not a whole lot of stuff came up. And we saw the local pub, the Woodford Village Hotel. Sometimes country pubs or local pubs, um, they can be a bit intimidating. This one looks super friendly. Um, we're walking past, it's like, it looks like a great place to eat. We're both starving. So we've ducked inside, um, super welcoming. The staff are really, really lovely. Uh, I saw some people sitting up here on the, the top deck on the veranda. Beautiful, you get to look over the town, you can see the mountains. They have really cold beer, my favorite beer, stone and wood. This is just a great place. I could see myself spending a couple of hours here with friends if I had them. And we <laughs> we just kick it. <laughs> This has to be one of Brisbane's best kept secrets. We are at the Stony Creek Swimming Hole. It is beautiful. Now in summer, this place is a popular swimming spot. Of course, it's great for a refreshing dip. I can imagine with the sun out and blue skies, this water would look amazing. But even on an overcast day like today, it still looks incredible. That water has a gorgeous blue color to it. You can hear the water trickling down the creek and it is just gorgeous. I have a feeling we're gonna be coming back here time and time again, it's really special. All right, we are back at Daybreak Cottages and they have three alpacas. This is Diego, Carlos and Pablo. Pablo. <laughs> I totally forgot. Um, look, old Chucky Milk up the back there. Diego, he's a little bit scared of us, but we've won over the other two. They are so sweet. If you love staying in a place where you get to interact with animals, this is the place to come. We're also going to meet the miniature horses, which I'm really excited about. There's some free range chooks getting around. Ah. Sheep. Sheep, yep, that's right. We were talking to the sheep yesterday. Goats. <laughs> Goats. Oh, they're so gentle. They're so sweet. Don't you be stealing that. These are the little miniature horses. They're so cute. Very bossy, very hungry. Same. <laughs> They're so sweet. Come on, darling. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Look at their little legs. I have had an awesome few days up here seeing a different part of Brisbane that I haven't experienced before. Um, if you've spent a bit of time up here, I would love to know what some of your favorite spots are or some of your recommendations so that we can check them out next time and everybody else can see them in the comments too. And with that, you guys, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a really great weekend and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love ya!